Ruger SFAR Part 3. Now we have something new on here, the LPVO. It's a primary arms, 1 to 8 SLX. And we're going to try it out, take a few shots. This is reman ammo, so. Let's see what's going on here. Let me see. Well, shit. We might have actual technical difficulties. I don't know. All right, keep going. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we got actual, actual technical difficulties. Um, just keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah, the hammer is not cocking. Let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna sit down. Keep recording. Keep recording. Keep recording. <clears throat> Oh, <laughs> here, I don't know, that doesn't do close-ups, but look, there's a primer. There's a primer stuck down in there, probably can't see it. Hold on, let me grab my flashlight, if I can shine some extra light on the subject. But if you can see down in there, almost underneath the safety, there's a primer. And that primer, of course, is impeding the function of the trigger group. So, that's our problem there. We'll get that out. Um... That's not really a fault of the gun. We've had a couple other rounds that the primers popped out. So we'll be back with part four. Thanks for watching. All right, we're back with the Ruger SFAR after the primer got stuck in the trigger group. So I guess this is part 3.5. We'll see, this is the same ammo. It's Freedom Munitions, 147 grain, remanufactured. And we've been popping primers. So let's see. Got the suppressor on there, LPVO. Let's see what happens. Looky there, it ran through 25 rounds. Well, that's good. LPVO, still tight. That's always a plus. Can still on there. And we'll have to pick up that brass because we reload and we'll check them, see if there's any more pop primers. But so far, so good. So this is part 3.5. We'll be back with part four. Thanks for watching. Super cool gun.